Hey what's up creators and welcome to the first video as part of my survival game course. As part of this course we're going to teach you everything you need to know to build the foundation of your survival game. What we're going to be doing in this first video is showing you how we can import our arms and a pickaxe that we're going to be setting up later on. But by the end of this video though what you are going to have is your arms, a pickaxe in your hand and when you move around that pickaxe is going to go with you. It's a really exciting class, let's go ahead and jump straight in and get started. Okay, so inside of the Epic Games launcher, what I want you to do is just go ahead and open up the latest version of the engine that you've got. At the time of recording, this is 5.0.3 for me. We can do this just by pressing the launch button in the top right hand corner. Once this has loaded, we're gonna be able to create that first person project using the game's template. I'm not going to go over what all of these other templates are for now. What I want you to do though is just use games because it's going to give us the foundation, including some arms and a weapon and some movement and inputs. Choose first person. Make sure all of your settings are exactly the same as mine on the right hand side here. And then give this any name you like. I'm going to call this survival video course. And then once I've done that, I want you to go ahead and press create on this. This is probably going to take a couple of minutes to load the first time that you create a project, especially if you're completely new to Unreal Engine 5. Once this has loaded in just a second, we're going to check out exactly what we get as part of this first person template. So inside of Unreal Engine, for those of you that are familiar with the user interface already, what I want to do is I want to take you straight in and see what we've got as part of this template. If we go ahead and press play, you can see in here in my viewport, we can move the mouse around, we can walk backwards, forwards, left, right, etc. And I can also pick up a gun. But most importantly, with this template, what I have is the foundation for a survival game or any kind of first person game. What we're going to be doing is replacing the animation. So instead of having a gun, He's going to be walking, he's going to have a pickaxe, and eventually as we get further down this course, we are going to have a pickaxe that we can swing, we can mine rocks, we have an inventory system, and all of that good stuff. What I want us to do now is make sure that we have the assets which are available to download in the links in the description, and then we're going to be importing these and setting up our arms and setting up our pickaxe. The assets that you've downloaded should look like this. We should just have a pickaxe folder, with textures, the pickaxe, and then a bunch of animations. We're going to be importing these into Unreal Engine now. We're going to be starting off with the pickaxe. What we're going to do is right click in our content browser at the bottom here. For those of you that are new to Unreal Engine, the content browser is going to store all of the assets for your project. Then I'm going to right click inside of here in some blank space. I'm going to create a new folder. And then with that new folder, I'm just going to give it a name. So to do that, right click, new folder. I'm going to give this the name survival course. Then I'm going to again, right click inside of here and add in another new folder. And I'm just going to call, call this animations. And I'm going to add another folder called pickaxe. Open up that pickaxe folder that you've just created. And then inside of here, we're going to take pickaxe.fbx and then we're going to drag and drop it into the content browser. Leave all of the settings as they are, apart from the material import stuff. Here, we're going to change this to do not create material, do not import textures, and do not search exactly like I have. And if we do this, when we press import, what you're going to find is we have a 3D model. I can see this by double clicking on it for a pickaxe. And this looks beautiful. It looks fantastic. What we also need to do with this is we need to get it some textures. So I'm going to right click, add another new folder and call it textures. Then what we're going to do inside of this textures folder, everything that we had in that folder that we just saw within textures, we're going to select all of this, drag and drop and import those in there. This is going to be all of the color information for what this pickaxe should look like. And I can see this if I go into my pickaxe and double click on this, I can see I've got my wood, I've got my metal and all of the details. We're going to be showing you how we can assign this later on. So now we have our pickaxe imported. 
What we need to do now is take a look at how we can get all of the animations for the Unreal Engine arms that we've already got in there. Now by animations, what I mean is the animations that are inside of Unreal Engine are currently set up so they're kind of positioned to be running around with a gun. We want those to be positioned to be holding a pickaxe like I am now. Let's go ahead and do that. Within your survival course and your animations folder, if you left click on that, what I want you to do now is we're going to be importing all of the animations here. We can see these are pickaxe idle, pickaxe mine right, pickaxe run loop, and pickaxe walk loop. Import these into the engine by dragging and dropping. Then what we're going to do for the skeleton in the top right hand corner, make sure we set this to sk underscore mannequin underscore arms underscore skeleton. This is the default Unreal Engine skeleton. All of the animations that I've put together here for you are made in mind with that. So we can reuse this on any project or any arms that are using this skeleton. Then we're going to make sure that import mesh is turned off because we just want the skeleton for this. When it comes to animation, we can leave that. Then what we're going to do is just press force front axis, just like that. Pretty much just make sure all of your settings are exactly the same as mine. Once they are, go ahead and press import. This process of importing these animations is probably going to take a minute or two depending on the speed of your computer. Unreal Engine can be a little slow when it comes to importing animations, but they are going to look fantastic when they're done. Okay, once we have imported our animations, we can then check them out pretty quickly. We're going to do this by just simply left clicking on those and checking them out. But what I want to do now is I want to talk about the next steps for what we're going to be doing for setting this up because it is actually quite complicated. But if we go through this, you're going to see it, it can be really easy and having a fundamental knowledge of that beforehand is going to help a lot. So what we're going to be doing now then is we're going to be going into our character blueprint. A character blueprint is just going to contain all the information for the character, including the 3D representation, which is our arms. And then we're going to be changing the animation for that. And we're going to be changing it to the idle animation. So it's just there holding its pickaxe, ready to do its stuff. And then we're just going to be attaching the pickaxe to one of the bones on its body, specifically in the hand. And by doing this, by attaching it to one of the bones, that pickaxe is then going to move with the hand. So hopefully that makes it a little bit easier to understand. Let's jump back into Unreal Engine 5 and make sure this can happen. If you're prompted for any more FBX import stuff, just go ahead and just make sure the skeleton is set to the mannequin just like before and press import. Or just to make it easier, go ahead and press import all. And again, this might just take a second for all of these to load in. But then what we're going to be doing in just a second is we're going to be showing you how we can test these animations. Then we're going to be showing you how we can attach that pickaxe. Okay, so now that these have imported, we can double click on these to open them up and we can test them. And what we can see here is we have our arms and our hands in a position ready to carry a pickaxe. If you don't know how to navigate in this viewport here, all you need to do is just hold down right mouse button and treat it like the viewport inside of Unreal Engine. And now you can see we've got those animations and they're looking good. Fantastic. If you've got to this point and your animations are looking a little bit funky when you test them out like I showed you there, what I want you to do is just delete them in your content browser, go back and just rewatch the import settings and just make sure they're exactly the same as mine. What we're going to do now then is we're going to open up that first person character blueprint and we're going to change the animation for idle and we're going to attach that pickaxe. To do this inside of Unreal Engine, what I want you to do is go to your content browser, go to first person to your content browser. Inside of here, we're going to find BP underscore first person character. Double click on this to open it up. Then we're going to go over to the viewport. This is our character blueprint. Like I said earlier, it's going to contain all of the information related to your player. 
that being the 3D representation, and any code that comes with it. If we take a look in the viewport here, which we've opened, we can see what's going on. And we can see we've got a camera and we've got arms. I'm gonna select these arms by pressing left click. Then what I'm gonna do is inside of here, I'm gonna be changing this to play one of our new animations so we can test all of this out. To do that, because we've selected the object, we now have access to the settings for this in the details panel. Under animation, we're gonna tell it to use animation assets. Then what we're gonna do under anim to play or animation to play, we're gonna be searching for idle and we're gonna choose pickaxe idle. And now with this, you can see we've got our arms and it's doing our pickaxe animation. That's perfect. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go to add and we're gonna add a component for the pickaxe. So what I'm gonna do is add in a static mesh. A static mesh just being a 3D model. We're gonna give this a name, pickaxe. Then under static mesh, we are simply going to search for pickaxe and choose the pickaxe. And now what we have is a pickaxe in our scene and it will be attached. It's gonna move with it, but not with the bones. We can test this by just clicking our rotation tool here by pressing E and just roughly rotating it into place. Feel free to use the Select and Translate Objects tool to move this as well. Then we're gonna go ahead and hit Compile and Save and Play. You can see we can't actually see our axe there. And that is because the axe is just a little bit out of the view. So I'm just gonna move it forwards and then again, compile and save and play. And now we can see our axe. And you can see the hands are moving separately to the axe. We need all of this to move together. The way that we're gonna get all of this to move together is by attaching it to the skeleton like I said earlier. We're gonna be doing that now. We're gonna be opening up the skeleton asset for those arms, adding in a socket, and then with that we're gonna be attaching the pickaxe and just adjusting the position relative to the skeleton so when we bring it into the blueprint, it looks exactly how we want it to. Again, don't worry if I'm going a little bit too fast, just watch this video nice and slow, have some fun, and let's attach that pickaxe. So now, what we're gonna do is we're going to need to find our skeleton. Our skeleton is our bones for our arms. To find this, we're gonna go to our top content folder here. We're then going to choose the add an asset filter button, and then we're going to choose skeleton inside of here. We can find this under animation and then skeleton and open up sk underscore mannequin underscore arms. You can do that by double clicking on it. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach this to one of these bones here on the left. You can't see these very well, but it'll make sense in a minute. So the bone that we're gonna be attaching this to is our ik underscore hand underscore R. So what I want you to do with this is right click on IK underscore hand underscore R and add a socket. We can see we now have IK underscore hand underscore R underscore socket. Right click on this and then we're going to be adding in a preview mesh and we're going to search for our pickaxe and we can see now where the pickaxe is. Now, with this, it's probably not that helpful for telling you where to place this. So what we need to do is actually tell these arms to play the idle animation. To do that, we're gonna go to the top right-hand corner here where it says preview scene settings. Then we're gonna be using the preview controller here to use a specific animation. On the drop-down, choose idle but choose pickaxe idle. And now you can see our pickaxe is not actually too far off. And with this, I can select my asset here for my socket. So click the socket here, and then I can actually move 
my pickaxe into place. And I can place that exactly where it needs to be. And you can have this character hold this pickaxe any which way you like. I'm just gonna take a minute here to, to roughly place it in. I'm also gonna set my relative scale to 0 0.8, 0 0.8 and 0 0.8, so it's a little bit smaller. But for me, it looks like he's gripping this pickaxe pretty well here. Then I'm gonna press save once I've got to a point that I like. Okay, once you're at a point where you're happy with the position of the pickaxe that we've set up, what we're gonna be doing now is showing you how to actually attach the pickaxe inside of the first person character using that socket and the information that we've just set up. Let's do it. So inside of our content browser, again, we're gonna to go to first person, blueprints and first person character. With our pickaxe, select it in the components panel in the top left. We're gonna to go to parent socket and then inside of here, we're going to attach it. So parent socket, we're gonna set it to IK underscore hand underscore R socket. Then it's now going to be attached. Make sure your location and rotation are all set to zero. So for me, once I've done that, you can see the pickaxe is now moving with the hand. And if I go ahead and press compile, and press play, and you can now see we have the pickaxe in the player's hand. If the rotation looks a little bit funky, like we have there, to adjust that, all you need to do is just go into our skeleton, select that socket, and just rotate that pickaxe until it's in a better position that looks better. So just keep going through there and just keep adjusting it. I'm gonna move it so it sits around here. What I will do is before the next video, I will spend some time properly lining this up. That's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. By now, you should have your arms, an idle animation, and a pickaxe. And with that, you're able to walk around your scene and do all kinds of fun stuff. In the next video, we're gonna be showing you how we can actually take walking animations, idling animations, and running animations, so when we got the pickaxe, we're moving quite quickly. While there is going to be lots of these survival videos on this YouTube channel, if you want to check out the entire course, which is available now, you can check it out on our website, the link is in the description. Also, if you'd like a little bit of help with setting this up or building your dream game, be sure to check out our Discord server the links for which are in the description down below. That's it for now though. Again, I hope you have enjoyed it. Stay awesome, keep creating, and we're gonna make some more stuff on the other side. <laughs>